Hi everyone, I'm Jane Trotter and welcome to Accelerando Piano. This is part two of how to play loud in one hand and soft in the other at the same time. In this video, you'll see me working with a student who happens to be my husband Shane. And I'm introducing him to some various techniques for learning how to play with different dynamic levels in each hand. You'll see how he progresses and comes to grips with some of those various technical challenges. The piece that we're using is called Mr. Snail is Late, and this is from my Garden Party book. And I've written this piece specifically to help students develop their playing techniques for different dynamic levels in each hand. Feel free to also dip into part one in this series, where it's just me taking you through and demonstrating the different techniques. I just want to introduce one technique for how to um, get one hand out and one hand soft, because we Aye. want to be keeping the left hand Aye. quite in this one. So one of the ways you can do it, is using a scale and contra motion is quite nice. So we'll do C major contra motion or we can go that way, doesn't matter. So hang on, contra motion is what? Contra motion is the opposite direction. Okay, what we're going to do is you're going to play your louder hand first and then your quieter hand. So what's with the louder hand on this one? So your louder hand will be your right hand. Right, so okay. it's got the melody. Right. So contra motion. I chose first because it's mirror fingering, okay. which is a bit easier. So louder hand, quieter hand, louder hand, quieter hand, louder hand, quieter hand. Just do a five finger pattern and just start there. So try that. So we'll just go C there and left hand thumb C for there. So okay. give yourself plenty of time between the notes. That's fine, sure. so that one's going to be loud. Yeah, you're going to stagger them, but right. give, give yourself plenty of time to them. Now you're going to try it the other way. I know in this piece your left hand's not the louder yeah, hand, yeah, that's right, right. but just right, to. So we're going to go. Yep. Louder uh, hand first. Soft. Yeah, and keep hold of it. So we'll keep oh. it all together. The differentiation was better with your left hand quieter. Yeah. That, that's okay. Right. Then you gradually get quicker at bringing in the quieter hand. So before we were doing yeah. something like that. Yeah. We might then progress to. So this is something you want me to practice, is it? Yep. Right. Yep. Okay. So it's going to be your little little dynamic variation in each hand exercise. Okay. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Tip number two yep. is to pretend play the hand that is going to be quiet. I'm going to bop. So it's just, I'll let you mean. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll put the, the camera back on. 
All right. So you are going to be pretending to play with your hand. So you're still playing the notes, as it were, yeah. but you're just not making any sound. And you're going to play your right hand. Oops. <laughs> Feels really weird. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Try that yeah. first. Yep. I guess I don't actually need to do the hands on the right notes then, do I? I'm writing to your parents. <laughs> I'm saying, I've got this obnoxious young man. <laughs> okay. All right. So cool. I've just played the first two bars. Yep. No, you haven't. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> Just get used to <laughs> Oh, that's true. No, no, your left hand's not moving. Oh, right, yeah, again. Okay. Smarty pants. <laughs> oh, that's true, you're fair. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, right, yeah. Again, like I say, it'll feel weird. It's actually hard. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. All right, okay. so again. Yep. bars just like that so still pretending to play left great cool okay right. now let's put your left hand back in yeah just by making it obviously slightly louder than from nothing yeah okay See how that goes. Although was I con was I wonder if I was actually playing the right hand too quiet as well. As in I've yeah, decreased I, the volume of both rather than Yeah, um, I I I know what you mean. Um possibly, but for the purposes of getting one hand quieter than the other, that worked really well. Right. And my theory is by taking it right out of the picture. Yeah. And then adding it back in, it's easier to make something louder than softer. So if you take it away, oh, I see, yes, and right, then yeah, add yeah. it in again, yeah, yeah, it's easier than going softer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's good logic. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that's your second tip, right? For how you can do it. And the third one is to actually play it on your legs. Right. Both hands. Yep. And the reason I'm doing that is that by 
plane it here, you get the feedback up from your fingers the other way, if that makes sense, because you're, you'll feel the lightness of one hand playing in, and then you'll feel the weightier other hand. And you'll be able to tell with your legs where the one hand is heavier going into the keys. So the can't tell them all right now, doesn't 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 matter. Just get the get the feel of that sort of pattern going down in your left hand. Just keeping that nice and easy. And feel that slightly weightier kind of feel with your right hand playing into the notes, as it were. Oh. Yeah. And if that's tricky, just do like we were doing um, contra motion scale or just five finger pattern. So contra motion is thumbs, thumbs going yep, out, right? Outwards, yep. And just see if you can feel the difference with one hand firmer into your leg. If I deliberately try to do it, mm -hmm. yep. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, I might have a little bit looser jeans, but that's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's that's the other one. So try that. We'll just do that five finger contra motion idea again. And yeah, we're going to put them down at the same time. And just do it really slowly, just so you can really feel one finger being heavier in one hand. Okay, and try that out on the keys. Just uh, go go from C. Oh, so so, so we'll, we'll just we'll, scale, we'll do the scale. Yep. Oh, right. So just imagine you're still playing it on your leg, and that's going to be your heavier hand. Oh, I'll just go from go from that C. Yeah. So, cool. so this <coughs> one that's your heavier hand. Yep. That was a good start, was it? It's all right.